Hello, I'm Daniel. I am going to talk about a teaching today. And the teaching is, see everything as a dream. See everything as a dream. This is from the Lo Jong teachings, which I've been studying and talking about lately. See everything as a dream. That sounds kind of like, well, so are we pretending the world isn't real? What, what, what's going on here? <clears throat> and the truth that it points to is this. Everything is coming and going all the time. Everything. And we can spend time pretending we don't know that, and sometimes that is how we deal with life. We pretend that we don't know that everything is coming and going all the time, including you and me. Everything, right? And... So that's sort of what we're talking about. Anything you have can just be gone. Anything you are paying attention to can just disappear at any time. And um, there's this concept we talk about in Buddhism sometimes called emptiness. And I think uh, people really struggle with it. And it's not, it doesn't mean that, it's, that nothing exists, although that's how people interpret it sometimes. And they start to think, oh, these teachings are very negative. It means there's nothing you can really hold on to, or rather anything you try to hold on to, you're not going to be able to. We're always trying to grab at things. We're always trying to hold on to things forever, and we can't. So it's, it's sort of like that um, row your boat song, life is but a dream. Um, life is but a dream. In an instant, it's gone, and that's it. And one way we can think about that directly is to just try to catch the beginning of any thought or sensation and see if you can. Don't, we can also try to catch the end of any thought and we just can't. When we pay attention to our thinking, we realize, oh, I don't know what's going on in my mind, right? Thoughts and feelings come and go. They just they show up and then they're gone. And some, uh, often we don't even know how a certain thought got there. Life tends to have a sort of dreamlike quality if we really are paying attention. So when we, when we train in this teaching, when we think about see everything as a dream, when we repeat this to ourselves, we can, it can change things for us. When we're when we're depressed or angry, when the kids won't stop running inside the house, or when the ex is giving you some trouble, or when you're having a tough day at work, or when traffic is ridiculous, we can remember, see everything as a dream. It's sort of like the, that uh, aphorism, this too shall pass. It's sort of the same thing, like, is this thing that's happening that's making me so upset really that important? Is it really that important or is it just something that's going to come and go? Remember to see everything as a dream. When we do this, our minds start to have a clear awareness and maybe we can lighten up a little. A lot of the things we cling to actually aren't that important or aren't as important as they seem. This is easier than it sounds, but we have to work at it too. So what I want you to do is practice sitting with this slogan in a regular meditation for a few days and see how it goes. If it comes to mind when you need it, if somebody cuts you off in traffic and you think, oh, see, everything is a dream, this doesn't matter, then this is helpful. Whatever else is going on, this too shall pass. And it's helpful in our meditation practice too. You know you're sitting on your cushion trying to follow the breath or your mantra and these damn thoughts keep coming up in our heads. And you can sit in your meditation and you start to think, oh, is the timer broken? Is the timer broken? Surely it's been 10 minutes, right? What am I having for dinner? I'm bored. What's that new thing on Netflix? All these things come into our heads and in our meditation practice also, we have to see them as dreams as not that important or else... We're going to really struggle through our meditation practice every time. We see them 
as dreams, then we realize an important thing about our thoughts. Every thought we're having, every thought we've ever had, we create. We make our thoughts. We do. We may feel like we don't have much control, but we do make our thoughts. They come from us. Even though they could be influenced by the environment, they come from us. And what does that tell us? Maybe we can have power over them. Maybe we can have power over them. If we can realize that, then we can see that we can have power over them. And training the mind is learning to have power over our thoughts. And we feel like we have no power. And that is why meditation practice can be so hard for us because we don't like being faced with that feeling of having no power over our thoughts and feelings. But the truth is that we can choose. If we train our minds, we can learn how to choose if we want to come and go through life with a positive mindset or with a negative mindset. We can choose that. And once we know we can choose that, that is so so empowering that we can choose our thoughts. If we can choose to feel good or feel bad today, if we can choose to sort of obsess over how something, all the way something can go wrong, or we can choose to focus on what can go right. We can choose that. And so we need to learn to understand that maybe the things we're grasping so much aren't that important. Maybe they can be seen as dreams. And then we can choose which aspects of life we want to focus on. We don't have to get carried away by our anxieties and our obsessions. We can choose what to focus on instead. We can choose a different thought. We can just choose. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. See, everything is a dream is the teaching and it's just so many things in life we get carried around by that aren't that important. That's that's the teaching. I can see someone say something on Facebook that's wrong, and then I feel in my mind, oh, I gotta say something. That's that person's wrong. As though saying anything changes anything for anyone. It doesn't. Nobody cares. And I can I'm reminded of this one time I picked up my daughter from school and she says, can we go roller skating? And I, I don't like sudden, sudden plans like that. So I did say no. And she was mad all evening. Why? Because she was really fixated on that one wish to go roller skating. And I think we all have things like that in our lives. We all have where we, there's something that we really want to see it happen. And Sure, sometimes it's something like significant, like a promotion at work, but other times it's being able to go roller skating. Many things in life are not as important as we think they are. Not everything, but many things in life are not as important as we think they are, but our minds stick to them anyway. It doesn't matter if it's going to change your life or not. We stick to things like it's going to change everything if this thing happens. And often we're wrong. We're just wrong. That's why we call it obsession or neurosis. Because we get so caught up in little things. We get so caught up in this person I know votes differently than me. We get so caught up in this dinner didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Or we get so caught up in nobody showed up to my meditation class. We get so caught up in these things, but the truth is that we can learn to see all these things as a dream. And then once we learn to do that, we can choose where we want to put our focus. We can choose where to direct our minds. And that's where the real empowerment is. If you can choose where to direct your mind, then we can choose to have thoughts that are empowering, thoughts that take us where we want to go instead of just whatever happens. You're not a slave to your mind. You can learn to control where your thoughts are directed. You can learn how. So that's it for today. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me and have a good day.